Hello there Libra and welcome back to Radiant Moon Tarot. My name is Victoria. We've got a timeless reading for you guys today. We are looking at your future and getting your fortune and we're going to pull out some lucky numbers for you guys as well to do with as you wish. Um, because this is a timeless reading, whenever it does happen to find you is exactly when it's meant to. So let's get right into it and see what messages are coming out. We're going to start out with the world. The world is your oyster here, people. You are being very much encouraged to spread your wings and fly. You may have something that is coming to fruition for you right now, or you may be closing out a chapter, a cycle in your life. But when we do get the world, even though we've got a phase of something that may be completing for us, we are also opening the door and expanding for something new. Be open to new possibilities in all areas of your life. Uh, awesome energy. Um, be open, be receptive, be on the lookout for new opportunities. This could be meeting new people. It could be a new job. It could be something that's maybe not brand new, but maybe you can breathe fresh life into something here. Whatever it is, it is an open door to your future. So get ready to take a leap. Get ready to step forward. We also have mountain energy coming in here for you guys as well. Know that you are protected as you face challenges, but remain cautious. All right. Now, sometimes we do. Um, I mean, we do, of course, have a lot of challenges in our lives. Right. But we also are always um, blessed with a way to overcome them. Now, sometimes the uh, the potential to overcome them or to solve a problem or to climb that mountain sometimes seems a little bit stressful or it seems a little bit out of reach. And so you're always encouraged to follow your stars, to follow your path, to keep on going, to look past the problem. You know, first look at the problem and then look past it to see where that solution may lie. You may need to be flexible and adaptable. All right. And sometimes we do need to take things a little bit slow, just like a mountain climber that maybe wants to conquer a peak. Right. We sometimes do need to take things a little bit slow and steady so that we don't get hurt or have a misstep somewhere along the way. Right. So sometimes things happen really fast and they're exciting. And sometimes things do take a little bit longer to play out. And there's reasons for that. OK. Also recognize here that when we do get the mountain energy, you could potentially have a door that closed or that is going to close for you. And we do need to remember as well that when one door closes, another one is set to open. We can't always see it right away. We can't always recognize it right away. And sometimes we have to process some emotions for that. But when we do look back and we see those things that have come to an end world, right, then we see, you know, if this never ended or if this didn't happen this way, then I never would have had this. And, you know, yes, we do quite often recognize that in hindsight, right, which is always 2020. But um, but trust in your path and that even if there is something that is closing a chapter, something that comes to an end, it is the evolution of you and it's opening those doors to new possibilities, to new potential uh, to new endeavors, to new people, whatever it happens to be, all right? And sometimes it's just certain things that we do need to let go of, right, in order for a situation or a relationship or something to evolve, right? And so something doesn't necessarily have to leave your life for you to breathe fresh life into it or for you to have that growth. We have shame here for you. You've carried this burden for too long. It's time to release the guilt you've placed on yourself and start a new chapter in your life. Set a new goal and begin taking action towards happiness. All right. Sometimes we blame ourselves for something that has happened in our life, even if um, it was someone else's actions or someone else's doing, right? We sometimes uh, shoulder the guilt, shoulder the blame on ourselves, right? And so we don't really want to do that. Um, we do it. We, right. We know we shouldn't, but we do it anyway. And so you're really being encouraged here and you're getting the energetic support here to release that energy and recognize, number one, if you have done something that you, you know, feel bad about. Right. Recognize that you're human and you are bound to make mistakes and you're bound to do sometimes things that you regret. And the best thing that we can do is if you can atone for something, great. Um, but if not, just recognize where you've maybe, you know, gone off, uh, gone off the 
uh, the path that you'd prefer to be on and um, do better tomorrow. That's all we can really do, right? Just do do better tomorrow than we did today, right? And we'll all be just better humans for it. We have compassion here as well, right? Compassion. Show yourself a little compassion here too, okay? You're being asked to be kinder to yourself, to give yourself a break. Instead of being a taskmaster, a bully, and a horrible friend, be a loving comforter who always has your back. All right. So be kind to yourself here, people. All right. Let's see what other messages are coming out for you guys. <clears throat> And we have the world card again. Very interesting. And we also have the two of pentacles and the lover's card as well. And we've got the fool at the back of the deck. Hmm. Talk about synchronicities coming in here for you guys. The back of the deck, the fool, there's something you want to do. There's something that you want to pursue. There's something that's exciting that's laying in your future for you. All right. Could come about as a bit of a surprise. It could be when you least expect it. Okay. May require something coming to an end. All right. But when we do get the fool card, this is about taking a leap of faith into something, whether it's a project, whether it's a, a new path in life, or whether it's just infusing a little bit more fun and joy and trying new things and facing your fears, whatever it is, it's super exciting when we do get the fool card, right? But we do need to remember that sometimes there's things that we don't know, right? And sometimes we are, you know, following the um, unbeaten path per, um, per se. And we don't always know what's going to happen. We don't always know if we're going to do the right thing or if we're going to make the right choices, but we'll really never know unless we try. So the fool can certainly represent this as a time of adventure for you, a time of new beginning for you, a time of taking something to new heights for you. But we do have to let something go in order to evolve, in order to progress from that. And of course, we do have the world card coming in here a second time for you. Se uh, successful completion of a cycle. Now, something could really be coming to fruition for you um, in the near future, in the next three months or so. Okay. And with this world card here, this is something you've been waiting for something that you've been manifesting into your life and it's going to be a cause for celebration and considering we do have the lovers card here and we do have the two of pentacles okay you might need to make a very important choice and it can certainly be a person okay that might be coming in this person could be potentially a friend a business um, business partner um, maybe someone new coming into your family um, but soulmate energy can come in here um, with this as well but it can also be the connection to your higher self and to spirit is also opening up for you. But the world card can certainly represent something coming to fruition, a successful completion of that cycle where we need to remember to be thankful, to be grateful, and to celebrate how far we've come. Whether you're finished something or not, whether you're exactly where you want to be or not, doesn't really matter, right? The cycle, the journey is over. Celebrate where you are. Be present in today. Take a moment to really enjoy your energy or to look back and to give yourself that pat on the back and give yourself a little bit of recognition again so a little self-love and compassion over here all right but it is is also that energy of expansion and growth and stepping into a portal that you may not necessarily have ever been down before and it is exciting but it's also scary at the same time but you may not necessarily be on this path alone number one you've always got your spiritual soul tribe with you right you always have that connection that partnership with spirit um, and with your higher self trust your intuition right you always know which choice to make but it is anything is possible when we do get the world card especially the world card and the fool coming out here together because the fool is the end of the journey and the uh, or sorry the world card is the end of the journey and the fool card is the next stage the next development or the something new um that's there for you so but it is fun energy it can also be naive energy so do make sure um just like the mountain said about being cautious right because sometimes the fool energy can be a little naive 
So make sure that you do, um, you know, get all the right details or ask the right questions. Okay, we want to take a leap of faith and trust ourselves that we're making the right decision and the right choices. But information is the key, right, to helping us make sure that we have a successful endeavor. But we do have the two of pentacles here for you guys as well. Now, this can certainly be a card of balance. Okay, so recognizing where in your life things may be a little bit out of alignment with the lovers card here, we can bring things back into alignment. So um, are you spending too much time with other people? Or do Doing things for other people and not taking care of yourself, your own needs. Remember, we've got some self-love and self-compassion and care that is being highlighted for you guys here as well, right? Is there something you need to change? Where do you need to find more balance in your life? When we are out of alignment, when we're out of balance, we don't feel good. We feel floopy. We feel like we're not grounded or we feel like we're not connected or we feel like we're spinning out of control. And just like this two of pentacles, right? This person is juggling a whole bunch of stuff here. She's got one foot on the ground and one foot up. And just like this ballerina that this person looks like she is, right? That's a wonderful pose. And it takes a lot of skill and a lot of talent to be able to juggle a whole bunch of things. But you can't do it forever, right? Eventually, one of those balls is going to drop and fall out of the air. So take the reins and take charge while you do that. And sometimes this is something new that you might do for yourself, right? To get yourself um, in balance in your life. And it might be just small tweaks that you might need to make and it might be bigger ones. But the two of pentacles can also represent weighing up your options. You may have multiple opportunities coming in here or you need to kind of, um, you know, kind of juggle some information right first so that you can make the right choice on something here so the two of pentacles can represent you needing to make a choice um, it could be a choice between um, two different opportunities or a path or a direction um, or maybe even just making a choice as to what it is that you want um, out of life because your priorities may have changed and your outlook on life may have changed and you've grown a little bit so you just um, you know you might need to take the path less traveled right the fool energy right that path less traveled that's scary but it can also be very rewarding um, so if you know so whatever your situation is be open be flexible be adaptable right it's part of the keys with the two of pentacles right go with the flow and uh, things might just get a little bit easier for you. But yes, we do have the lover's card here for you. So yes, um, some of you, this is connecting with a soulmate. Okay, or attracting a, a soulmate into your life, manifesting a soulmate. Okay, um, this can be, and soulmates come in all different forms, right? We can have a soulmate that ends up being our best friend. We can have a soulmate that ends up being a romantic partner. We can have a soulmate where where they're a perfect business partner. It's a complementary energy. And so whoever it happens to be, someone new could be waltzing into your life. And it's very faded kind of energy here. So be, um, again, open and flexible because a soulmate quite often does come along. And they're often a little bit different than what we expect because it's really the energy that um, that is the important thing, right? So you're energetically aligned with this person and they're here for, they might be here for a short time, they could be here for a long time, but they're here to teach you something quite often, right? And they're here to help you grow and evolve. And sometimes we do that together in the long term and sometimes it's just a short-lived thing, but it's always rewarding, sometimes a little bit heartbreaking, Okay, but ultimately, it kind of really does bring us um, a lot of positive benefits, right? This can also be partnering up with the right business, with the right career path, right? But you have a choice. The choice is always yours. You can say yes, you can say no, right? You've got multiple opportunities. You can choose your path, right? But choose your path and trust yourself that you're making the right decision. But yeah, that two of um, that lover's card can certainly also be you aligning it with, with your higher self, with your connection with spirit and creating that relationship, right? It's a relationship that we have with our spirit angels, guides, with the universe. And we give a little, they give a little, right? And it's a, um, a, a very uh, symbiotic kind of relationship, right? We each do our part and we kind of come together. And we do sometimes forget that our connection with spirit is a relationship. And just like any relationship, um, you know, I scratch your back, you scratch mine kind of thing. And it's not one-sided. So you're being encouraged here to open up 
your um, your connection, your path with spirit, with the universe here, and will be rewarded for doing so. And, um, you know, especially if it's not transactional, we sometimes only remember to go to spirit when we need something. And, you know, uh, building a relationship just like it would be with a person. If you're always just going to your neighbor and borrowing a cup of coffee, right, every single day, it's becoming a transactional relationship, right? So instead of just being transactional, right, when you need something, you know, you would go to your neighbor just to say hi, or just to say, hey, can I help you out? Or, you know, just to develop a little bit more of a bond, right? So in your path to your spiritual growth and awakening, develop that actual relationship. And we can sometimes just have a conversation with spirit, we don't want anything, right? We don't want anything. We just want to connect. And it's quite magical when we do that. <clears throat> we have future happenings for you. You grasp opportunities as they arise. You persist in retaining your position diligently. You, ex you exert discipline in your efforts. Creating solutions in the face of challenges, you adeptly oversee the situation, resulting in increased productivity your influence persists across diverse domains and you heed your innermost feelings and convey them. Your loved ones continue to experience happiness. Your decision making is guided by emotional considerations. Mastering others is strength. Mastering yourself is true power. And we have pursuits to consider. You own thoughtfulness, charisma, and creativity. Your time is valuable and the circumstances are advantageous. Your uncomplicated and magnanimous demeanor draws people to you. Your professional endeavors thrive despite encountering minor challenges. Achieving your objectives brings profound relief and contentment. Life is inherently straightforward, yet we persist in needlessly complicating it. So how can you simplify it? Two of pentacles, right? So let's get a fortune card for you guys. And this will also have your lucky numbers on it. And like I said, just use your lucky numbers in any way you wish. Maybe use one, maybe use all. Um, maybe you help your lucky numbers to help you make a decision. Uh, but let's see what your fortune has to say for you here. What a joy to look ahead and read into the signs of your future. So much happiness is in store for you that the most brilliantly lighted stars will be put to shame by the brightness of your life. Ah, this is not, this is all, sorry, ah, uh, this is not all caused by sheer good luck. Nay, nay, my friend, you persevere. Your perseverance, your clever ways of handling your domestic problems, and your sincerity in dealing with others are pointing the way to their reward. And your lucky numbers, 11, 30, 31, 42, 12, and 9. That's what I've got for you guys. I thank you for watching. I hope there was something here for you. If so, please do like, share, and subscribe. I thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.